The topic is transmission line equation and their solution in phasor form. As we know that the sinusoidal voltage is represented by a general wave equation for a transmission line and its instantaneous voltage is given as V suffix S Z comma T. From here we get a second order equation which is a general wave equation of voltage in case of sinusoidal form which is del square V suffix S upon del Z square equals to L C del square V suffix S upon del T square plus within bracket L G plus R C del V S upon del T plus R G into V suffix S. So this is a general wave equation for voltage in case of transmission line and here V suffix S is called a instantaneous voltage in sinusoidal form. Now since this is a second order equation and in sinusoidal form the operator that is del upon del T when applied to complex form it becomes J omega. So here we replace del upon del T by a multiplying factor which is J omega. So del square V S upon del Z square get converted into D square V S upon D Z square. L get converted into D and del upon del T is replaced by a factor J omega. After replacing del upon del T by J omega we get D square V S upon D Z square equals to L C within bracket J omega square V suffix S plus within bracket L G plus R C into J omega into V suffix S plus R G into V suffix S. So from here as we know that the value of J square is minus 1. So the first term becomes minus omega square L C into V S plus J omega within bracket L G plus R C into V S plus R G V S. So here we get a three terms and in three terms we have V suffix S. So we take it as a common. Now for common in the first term we simply multiply and divide by J. After multiplying divide by J in the first term we can take a common that is J omega L. So in the first two term we take a common that, that is J omega L and we get within bracket G minus omega C upon J. And from third and fourth term we take a common that is R within bracket G plus J omega C. Vs is a common in all the four terms so we take it outside. Now in the first term we have a within bracket that is G minus omega C upon J. So we take J to the numerator side so the sign become positive and here from these two terms we again have a common term that is G plus J omega C. So after taking a common we get a D square V S upon D Z square equals to G plus J omega C into R plus J omega L into V suffix S. So here we get a two terms that is a complex one. The first is called G plus J omega C. This is called a net shunt admittance and it is denoted by capital Y. The second is called a net series impedance and it is denoted by capital J. So here the shunt admittance is equals to G plus J omega C and series impedance is equals to R plus J omega L. And these shunt admittance and series impedance are per unit distance basis because here we consider a transmission line per unit distance basis. So this shunt admittance and series impedance and the product of y and z is called gamma square. This gamma square is called a propagation constant. So gamma square is equals to g plus j omega c into r plus j omega l. So the value of gamma is under root of r plus j omega l into g plus j omega c or it can be written as under root of z into y. Z is called series impedance and Y is called shunt admittance. Now since the gamma 
is under root of two complex values. So the gamma is also a complex value, and it it is written as alpha plus g beta, where alpha is the real part of gamma and beta is the imaginary part of gamma. Now this above equation that is d square v s upon d z square after converting del upon del t by a multiplying factor j omega. And this is a second order equation, differential equation, and the solution of this equation is a voltage function. That is V suffix S Z. Since this is a second order, so it has a two functions. First is V naught plus e to power minus gamma Z, and second is V naught minus e to power plus gamma Z. The first term indicate the forward propagation that is noted by plus sign. V naught plus, and the second is called a backward propagation of a voltage function that is V naught i. And as we know that the argument in a forward function having a negative sign, and in backward propagation the argument have a positive sign. So here we take a forward propagation having a exponent which has a negative sign that is e to power minus gamma z. And in backward propagation, we have a positive sign with the exponent that is e to power plus gamma z. So this is a solution of a second order equation, which is a voltage function. So the second order voltage equation is del square v suffix s upon del z square. This is actually d square v s upon d z square after. Converting del upon del t by j omega, and it is the product of r plus j omega l into g plus j omega c into v suffix s. Here, r plus j omega l into g plus j omega c is called a propagation constant denoted by gamma square, and its solution is a voltage function that is v suffix s z v naught plus e to power minus gamma z plus v naught minus e to power plus gamma z. Here, v z. Vsz is called a phasor voltage. That is a phasor voltage by taking t equals to zero by dropping the time factor. Then we obtain a phasor voltage. So the gamma is equals to under root of z into y, and it is a complex variable. So we called it alpha plus j beta. Now similarly, we use a general wave equation for transmission line in terms of instantaneous current. The expected solution of that wave equation in terms of current is I suffix S Z equals to I naught plus e to power minus gamma Z plus I naught minus e to power plus gamma Z. Since V suffix S Z is called the instantaneous voltage, so I suffix S Z is also called instantaneous current of a current wave equation for the transmission line. Now. We derive the relationship between the current and voltage waves. That is a sinusoidal one. We use a real instantaneous form of a transmission line voltage in the last video. We can also use a real instantaneous form of a transmission line in terms of current also. That is denoted by I suffix as Z comma T. This is a real instantaneous form of transmission line current. That is equals to mod I naught cos within bracket omega t plus minus beta z plus zeta. In case of voltage, we use a phase that is phi, and in case of current, we use a zeta here. So there is a difference. In case of voltage, we use phi as a phase difference, and in case of current, we use a zeta. Now, since this is a real instantaneous form of a current, and denoted by I suffix s z comma t. And in this, there is a cos term to convert it into exponent form. So it becomes one upon two mod i naught e to power j omega t into e to power plus minus j beta z into e to power j zeta. So here, the term that is mod i naught e to power j zeta is called i naught. This I naught is a complex amplitude for current equation, and it has a magnitude and phase. The magnitude is I naught, and the phase is zeta. That is noted by I naught. So the equation becomes one upon two I naught e to power plus minus j beta z e to power j omega t 
plus its complex conjugate because we know that after converting cos term into exponent we have a first term and the second term is the complex conjugate of the first term so we call it complex conjugate and written as cc now after getting this we have another term that is i not e to power plus minus j beta z this is denoted as i suffix s z this is called a phasor current like phasor voltage and it is denoted by i suffix s z that is function of z so the phasor current is denoted by i suffix s function of z and the real instantaneous form of current is equals to 1 upon 2 i suffix s function of z e to power j omega t plus some complex conjugate term now next we use a transmission line equation in terms of voltage and current that is sinusoidal one the voltage equation is del v s upon del z equals to minus within bracket r i s plus l del i s upon del t and the current equation is del i s upon del z minus within bracket g v s plus c del v s upon del t now here we have to convert del upon del t into j omega term we have to convert into complex form so del get convert into d so we get a voltage equation that is dvs upon dz equals to minus within bracket r plus j omega l into is now r plus j omega l is called the impedance that is z similarly del is upon del z get convert into dis upon dz that is equals to minus within bracket g plus j omega c into vs here g plus j omega c is and meters that is denoted by y so from here we have a transmission line equation into complex one that is dvs upon dz equals to minus within bracket r plus j omega l into is that is equals to minus z into is and next is dis upon dz equals to minus within bracket g plus j omega c into vs and it is equals to minus y into v suffix s now we first take a voltage equation in differential form that is dvs upon dz equals to minus z into is now vs is the solution of the voltage equation and it is having forward voltage and backward voltage so its solution is v not plus e to power minus gamma z plus v not minus e to power plus gamma z here the exponent having a negative sign for the forward propagation and positive sign for the backward propagation similarly is is the solution of the current equation and it has i not plus e to power minus gamma z plus i not minus e to power gamma z here also the exponent having a negative term negative sign for forward and positive sign for backward now we simply compare both side after taking a differentiation on the left side so left side becomes minus gamma v not plus e to power minus gamma z plus gamma v not minus e to power gamma z after comparing the exponent on both the sides we have two equations first is minus gamma v not plus equals to minus z i not plus and second is gamma v not minus equals to minus z i not minus from here we get a ratio of voltage to current so from here we get v not plus upon i not plus that is equals to z upon gamma and from the second equation we get a ratio v not minus upon i not minus that is equals to minus z upon gamma or we can also write minus v not i upon i not minus that is equals to z upon gamma so from here the ratio is same that is z upon gamma so we have to equate it so z upon gamma equals to v not plus upon i not plus that is equals to minus v not minus upon i not minus and as we know that the characteristic impedance is the formula here so that is equals to z not that is a characteristic impedance of the transmission line here for the backward propagation there is a negative sign in case of current so we use a negative sign for v not upon i not in case of backward propagation so here we derive a formula that relates the characteristic impedance and 
series impedance that is R plus J omega L. So, the characteristic impedance of the transmission line can be written in terms of series impedance and shunt admittance that is Z upon gamma. Here Z is equal to R plus J omega L and gamma is equal to under root of R plus J omega L into G plus J omega C. So, here this is a ratio and after calculating some arrangement we have a under root of R plus J omega L upon G plus J omega C. This is simple under root of Z upon Y. Since the shunt admittance and series impedance are in complex form, so the characteristic impedance Z0 having a magnitude and phase that is noted by mod Z0 and the heat power Z theta. Here theta is the phase of this characteristic impedance. So, the characteristic impedance can be written in terms of line parameters of transmission line that is R, L, G and C. And the phase of this characteristic impedance is theta. Here theta is equals to phi minus zeta because characteristic impedance Z0 is equals to V0 plus upon I0 plus. Here the forward voltage having a phase that is phi and forward current having a phase zeta. So, here that is a ratio of phi upon zeta. So, theta is equals to phi minus zeta. That is obtained by taking zeta to the numerator side and its sign is changed to minus zeta.